Welcome to the Blockchain Hustle, where I take a look at some interesting plays of how blockchain technology is opening up new business vistas across multiple industries. The pandemic has prompted new compliance requirements. Translating these COVID-19 requirements into compliant processes and ensuring a sound implementation across your organization is no mean feat. It requires a lot of efforts. Infection risk management is getting to be a key performance driver. So navigating in this new environment, how can enterprises communicate trust to the market? How can they provide the assurance to their key stakeholders, their partners, their customers, that they can manage the risk, that they're operating a safe and a secure business? Hi, this is your host, Meenu Sareen, with the sixth episode of the series, Blockchain in the New Norm. Now, in the previous episodes, I shared a few real examples of blockchain-based solutions for a safe back to work. And by that, I mean getting your employees safely back to work and facilitating a safe working environment for them, that they should trust they would not feel anxious or apprehensive about themselves as well as their colleagues. But what about a safe back to business? How do you reassure your customers, your partners, your other stakeholders about the safety of your products and services? And as I mentioned earlier, how do you communicate that trust to the market that you're operating a safe and a secure business? Well, in today's episode, I try to address this. I'm going to share an example of a shipping company here, Viking Line. Now, to get back to business, what this Viking Line uh, needs is that they need paying guests, people to travel with them. And for this, they need to ensure a safe travel for these guests. And they need these guests or the passengers to trust them in this, that they can provide a safe environment, a safe travel for them. And then you have the authorities of the various countries that this shipping line is traveling to, this ship is traveling to. Each has its own health directives, its own infectious disease controls. And to top it, if this is not enough, given the evolving nature of this pandemic, all these directives, these controls, these guidelines, etc., they are evolving, they are changing, it's dynamic out there. And it is not just compliance, but it is also demonstrating the same to your stakeholders, the authorities, the guests or the passengers, your employees, etc. in this case. So what do you do now? Enters Oslo-based assurance company, DNVGL. Now, if you are like me, who gets confused between assurance and insurance, well, assurance is a financial coverage for an event that is certain to happen. And your assurance policy covers an event that will happen no matter what while the insurance policy covers an incident that might occur. Well, coming back on to the DNVGL and the Viking Line uh, example, well, DNVGL came up with a blockchain-based infection risk management solution, which they have called as MyCare. The blockchain technology used here is Toolchain from VChain. And uh, what is MyCare? Basically, it is a suite of third-party independent assessment services which are developed to help the enterprises provide an assurance to its stakeholders that it has put in place all the effective virus risk management practices. So it's a third-party independent service. So DNVGL, it assesses its uh, enterprise customers' processes compliance, etc. And then it records this information, this data onto a blockchain. To access this assessment statement, all that the enterprise customers and their stakeholders needs to do is to scan a QR code. So one may ask, why blockchain here? Let me cite a few reasons for that. For me, the first one is trust. Now, the demand for trust has always been key for any business. The pandemic has just made it all the more vital. And blockchain is all about trust and transparency. The second one is that even if you have your assessment being done by third party, there is always this apprehension. 
are these records uh, have these have these records been tampered with because all these record certificates can be forged blockchain makes your recorded data immutable and tamper proof it secures your data so storing this data on a blockchain gives an additional layer it provides you an additional layer of trust and security to the stakeholders and thirdly as the as the controls and the compliance requirements are evolving they are changing what is needed is a quick turnaround traditional record entry its authentication authorization the management etc is too resource intensive it costs time something that we can do without in the scenario and blockchain helps to reduce all these operational frictions so folks this was a safe back to business in my next episode i will share the third category which is being safe it basically is a set of solutions that aggregates integrates and shares the covid related data that can be tapped by various relevant entities in the pursuit of a medical breakthrough and this is going to be interesting so do play uh, please do stay tuned and thanks for the listen cheers you've been listening to the blockchain hustle did you enjoy this podcast if so please do leave a short review like it share it download it subscribe to it what should i talk about next please do let me know your suggestions by writing to me at meenu@vlsiconsultancy.com or through any of the other contact channels as shared in the episode notes thanks